grab you the door real quick. So guys, uh, here we out right now. Um, the front end looks like how we got it, uh, but the rest of the car, as you guys saw from the B-roll, we kind of kind of forgot to film. <laughs> Just uh, not gonna lie, we saw some of the parts. We're like, we gotta take this off to recoup some of our money. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, we spent a little too much on this car. Uh, but long, long story short, there's still so much to remove off of this car. But before we actually get into that, I kind of want to say the backstory of this car, which is kind of crazy. This actually belonged to a friend of ours uh, that has a dealership. We actually bought a car from him. I personally bought a car from him a long time ago. I don't want to get into too much details. Um, but basically, good guy. This was one of his cars that he had in the fleet, but he also personally enjoyed this car because it is an amazing car. If I had this in my dealership, I'd be driving this also. So long story short, uh, he had a customer that came through, gave him information. He basically wanted a test drive you know some people <laughs> should not be test driving cars they can't afford <laughs> especially if you don't have insurance yeah <laughs> so long story short uh this customer gave insurance or some kind of car but didn't give proper insurance he turned off traction control and he had to have turned off traction control there's no way there's no way there's unless you are literally aiming to hit something yeah there's no way because the, the impact off, was like as if it was like it like, shifted. I mean, look like at it, it was it was going into something sideways because the back is good. It wasn't side swiped. You know what I mean? Yeah. And honestly, I'm really surprised that he made it out of here without a scratch. Because whenever I get in, my head hits against this pillar, um, and the seat was literally tweaked. So you can only imagine. And even I don't know if you guys saw the seat. Yeah, though. the steering wheel is actually like look at that really wheel, bro. damaged. Like it dented in. Like dented right in. There. That's because <laughs> of uh, this bad boy right over here. So again. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. This is a really bad accident. Unfortunately, it was a, it left my friend honestly in a pretty bad situation as well, just because um, this was you know one of his cars he had at the dealership, and the person the test driver didn't have insurance. He found a work around it. Um, still a loss, but end of the day, uh, we were able to get a car for a decent deal. He was able to kind of recoup and kind of get out of this loss as much as he could. Um, so that's kind of like the good news of the situation. But uh, long story short. The car is here. It's running and driving, uh, you know, F90 M5. Pretty cool. Uh, a lot could say this is some people's dream car right here. And unfortunately, I know that what the, the, the body shop we picked this up from, they're like, this is rebuildable. It might be, but like, bro, look how dent it is. Like, look, the look at the dashboard, bro, bro. The like, dashboard, everything, guys. Like, yeah, I mean, maybe there's bro. some people, some expertise that can fix this. But uh, it's not even worth fixing. Look at that roof, bro. I mean, dude, the roof look crinkled in because that's how bad it like. I think if you literally strip this car in half and then cut it from like right here and cut it from back there, and, like you would have to weld two cars together. Essentially, it's There's not even worth no it. No way you can pull this and and finoodle it together. It's not worth it even. It's so. just not. It's, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, no, you should have fixed it. No, no bro, dude. bro no. this thing is. The crazy. cost to fix this thing, I'd rather just go buy a clean title. Exactly. So bro, and the time and the time spent. and labor and parts would just be crazy. And like, unfortunately, it, it, it destroyed a lot of the interior as well. Like, again, long story short, an unfortunate situation. We're not gonna be all depressed and whatnot because now we got parts for an F90 M5. And for those of you guys who have, uh, you know, just a five series that want upgraded parts, or for those of you guys who have an F90 M5 that you're trying to rebuild or has a water flood damage engine, uh, we got all those kind of parts, which is great. That being said, we still have a lot of parts we still need to take off this car. Thankfully, this entire side of the car is good. So we took off the doors already. We gotta take off this fender, um, this headlight. These brake calipers, these look absolutely stunning. Like, phenomenal. I cannot find these anywhere. Yeah, the like, color is weird. We were weird. trying to find this color somewhere. I don't know if this is, actually, now that I feel it, it looks like there's a sticker on here. Might, so think it might this be might have been repainted. But I Dang. think this looks way better. It does look really sick. It looks sick. way better than the stock, because the, the regular stock color is like the same thing you see on a 435 since yeah. 2014. Um, <laughs> For real. <so> literally. <laughs> so these look phenomenal, and it was repainted pretty well. It looks like it was a powder coated. So that is pretty sick. Uh, we have a full set of those now. The rotors are questionable. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, something that kind of was kind of unfortunate we found out about this car for those of you guys who are also, um, you know, in the part out game or just trying to learn about BMWs and whatnot. Uh, the F90 headlights, if you're trying to rebuild one of these cars, don't even be afraid. These headlights ain't worth nothing. Yeah, it's not worth year. much. It's crazy. The 2020. Because my brother, when we're looking for headlights for his M4, right? It was like 1500 2K for that headlight. This one, in the other hand, 
What was it like? Five hundred bucks. Five hundred without modules. Eight hundred with modules. Eight hundred with modules. That's cheap that's for a twenty twenty. That's cheap. You know, sometimes we just looked at this car. We're like, hey man, at least one of the headlights are good. That's like one of the least things now. I mean, it, it's good that it's good, but you know, it's just, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's just say the price we bought the car for, um, we're really looking for those bigger ticket items. Uh, something that was nice, a little shift knob that was right over here. The beautiful, you know, shift knob on this car. That was worth a little bit more than I expected, which was nice. Uh, again, but we're, we're trying to find the positives. End of the day, this engine is worth what? 14 grand? 14, 15. 14, 15. So that's obviously the heart and soul. It's just kind of hard to sell engines. So we're kind of just trying to salvage all the parts you could possibly do off this car. We're gonna be removing the rear bumper. We're gonna be cutting actually this whole rear end uh, for anyone else that's trying to rebuild a car. Uh, so long story short, this car is gonna be salvaged. Like we're gonna pull everything you could possibly think off of this car to recoup as much money and just try to get back to where we're at and then potentially make some profit one day. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Yeah, you know? one day. It's a long-term game. That's the thing game. about the dismantling game. Like, especially when you spend so much money on a car, all your money that you've been working really hard for just disappears for another car. You're not buying a Lambo anytime soon. You just buy more inventory and hope to God one day, <laughs> one day we sell the stuff. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, God bless, God bless. Um, so that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and start stripping this whole car down, start pulling some more parts. We'll get to you, we'll get to you guys with a full parts list um, towards the end of the video. But just knowing the engine's worth like 14 grand, that transmission's worth 2K, um, we're already looking over 16K right there. So, um, so far, pretty promising. So hopefully there's a lot of smaller ticket items, uh, not ticket items, but like smaller items that are worth a lot um, to help us recoup our, uh, our purchase right here. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and get a small cheap meal and uh, I'll come back to y'all in a minute. So guys, uh, some crazy things happened earlier in between the last two parts of the video that we filmed. Like super crazy stuff, like things, let's just say we found something alive in one of our cars. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> not something, five things. <laughs> so I don't even wanna get into that because we're actually gonna make a dedicated video on that because we're also gonna try to help those five things that we found in our car. So that will be in the next video. Uh, in the meantime, taking a little bit of a break from going into cars. <laughs> um, like earlier today, we found a, what's it called, a Black Widow? Look at that box. Bruh. Look at that Guys, what the heck? Who's not paying attention to their packaging, dude? Who packages this? Is that Black Widow? It's a Black Widow. There's literally a Black Widow in this box, bro. <laughs> bro. We're gonna set this thing down and we're gonna have to knock on it. We got the plane for her over here. Bro. Oh, bro, why'd you do that? Oh, fudge. It's in, it's in there, it's in there. Yeah, just get it out, get it out. Get it, get it completely out of the box. Oh, oh yesterday. Yesterday. We found a Black Widow, and then after that, we found five living creatures in our one of our cars. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, now I'm just packaging boxes. Because, uh... <laughs> Life's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Another day here in Natty Auto Parts. God bless. But anyways, uh, we are packing up the Z4M bumper that we just uh, that we just sold. Um, we honestly sold a Z4M hatch. These Z4M parts are actually doing pretty good. Uh, the Z4M hatch that we ended up selling got crushed by another pallet, and uh, we didn't buy insurance on that because I we literally made a crate. like crate, dedicated crate, and something fell on it, crushed through the crate, and crushed the tailgate. And we fully reimbursed the guy, but we're currently fighting uh, the the freight company, and it doesn't look like it's it's a never-ending battle. So that's like a couple grand lost right there, unfortunately. So we're boxing up this thing right here. This is the Z4M bumper. Um, we wrapped it up with a lot of bubble wrap. We put it in a box. Doing the best that we can do, obviously, to get these packages out. But sometimes the shipping companies they just they just screw us over. So long story short, uh, we did insure the package. Um, from here on out, we are insuring our packages. So you guys are good. We're good. And. Uh, no harm, no foul. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, Z4M bumper almost finished packaging up. The Everything's off of the F90 M5 currently. I just need to strip down the engine, the transmission, strip down the rear suspension because we're selling that all as individual parts. Um, so we'll be getting a full price breakdown on all that stuff soon. Jonathan still has a lot of parts to list. Oh yeah. It's just literally, it's crazy because you can part out two E90s in two weeks or like three E90s in two weeks or you can part out one F90, but there's more value in one F90 in two weeks than three E90s in two weeks, if you guys get what I mean. So instead of pulling yeah, three engines and pulling one, 
but there's more value in this. Yeah, exactly. Same, probably close to the same price, depending on which E90s we get. <laughs> yeah, depending if it's M Sports or just some super cheap $1,000 yeah. ones. Well, anyways, long story short, we'll get you guys with a full price breakdown, see whether or not getting this F90 was really worth the price. Yo, what's going on? Allergies? What's going on, bro? We're all sick of here. <laughs> oh, bless you. Oh, thank you. It's the season, you know what I'm it's saying? The season of uh, sneezing. <laughs> season of sneezing. <laughs> Key tags coming soon. $51,000. That's literally a quarter of our inventory on one car. <sighs> Guys, my ears are completely plugged, and the only thing that is like helping is having my headphones in, so I'm gonna leave my headphones in. It's not just because I'm, you know, I got my AirPods, no, it's, I, I actually can't hear. We're both messed up, but he's really messed up. I'm really messed up right now. I got like an ear infection, low key, it's just. This car has taken us how long? Like two and a half, three weeks to part out? The thing is, is that we both have been having like random things that we need to take care of personally. So like when I take a few days off, then he's gonna not have much to do. And then when he takes a few days off, I'm not gonna have much to do. We're just kind of like in a situation where it's like, we're a team yeah. and we need each other. Uh, you actually have to go get some other personal stuff uh, tomorrow. Oh, Rob Barry. Yeah, I'll yeah, bring like my Rob Barry's on tomorrow on my M3, which is good. Yeah, so that's bad. And then his birthday's coming up, you know. Yeah. So, anyways, so the videos are kind of like all over the place. Just give us like a month to get our stuff together and uh, we'll be, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Yeah. Um, but, anywho, I mean, yeah, it took us what? Two and a half weeks to get two this? Two and a half weeks. But, I mean, the week. profits on this car is more than what, a month's worth of work pulling four different engines for four different cars. This is, this is one car. One car is. So much more worth it. So we'll see how this car does. Uh, this is the F90 M5, for those of you guys who don't know. This is a pretty much the latest M5, right? This is the newest M5. Still. Newest M5, which is crazy. We got the newest M5 in our inventory. Um, and uh, so I'm just gonna tell you guys the grand total right now. So we bought the car for what? All right, guys, so uh, we got the car for $17,500. Which is, to us, the most expensive car we ever purchased. The scariest car I ever purchased because the thing is, for those of you guys who don't know, when you purchase a car this very, like this expensive, the main reason you're actually purchasing the car this expensive is because the engine's worth quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But then selling this engine might take us some time. And we're gonna have a lot of money tied into this car. So that part's a little scary. Yeah. As a new business, most of our money is tied up on this one car right now. Um, it is kind of scary. But the positive thing is, is that this engine actually is a what? A third? of what the inventory we got off this car? Not even a third, it's less than a third. Less than a third, yeah. which we can't really say for most of the cars. Most of the cars, the engine's worth half, or if not 60, 70% of the inventory's worth. Yeah. And in this case, e the engine is worth $14,000, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, so that's, um, a, that's aggressively priced. Like that's really, Like that's good that's on the market. Cheap. Um, so just drivetrain, engine, transmission, bare, well not bare, but like without all the extra fancy stuff. Um, we're looking at about almost what? 14.5 almost. Let's say uh, 14.5 roughly. Um, so that's almost getting to the number we purchased the vehicle for. Um, and then we got a lot of other big ticket items. There was a lot of nice things that kind of surprised us. The calipers were, were 1,400. Quite a bit. The front clip actually surprised me. That's I couldn't find any and the one I did see was, was sold for about that much. So I was like, okay. So that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. There's a lot of good, like there's not like super cheap parts. They're all kind of like Yeah, average. so they're averaging, like if you go down this list right now, you're gonna find a lot of things around $400. Yeah, like three, anywhere from like 100 to like $500 is a lot of items. Yeah, and that's kind of good because the thing is when we're dealing with E chassis and even F chassis, a lot of parts are like 20, 30, 40 bucks. A lot and after, of parts. Like literally majority. Every single part is like 30 bucks. Yeah, so when you're when you're selling those kind of parts, you gotta factor in shipping costs, you gotta factor in eBay fees, you gotta factor in just time. the time spent and labor, and it, it's just not worth it. I think it's if anything, much. we're just kind of offering free parts at that point. Yeah. Um, so like, uh, yeah, I think honestly doing more expensive cars is the way to go, but obviously like any business, the more money you have, the better you'll do. Yep. <laughs> we just don't have the money just yet. Uh, but we're, we're trying, we're trying. We did the G80 M3, now we did an F90 M5. What other big cars? We did the F10 M5. F10 M5, we've done a lot of e E9X M3s. Z4M, which was a pretty Z4M. nice car. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're trying to get our level up there because the parts just make more sense. So like, for example, if I parted out four E90s, let's say even four E90 M Sports. Yeah. Right? Uh, I think in total out of four E90 M Sports, we'll probably take home, uh, what, 7Ks usual we get out of a car, one of those. So that's 24 that's like profit. Oh, like no, no. 7K, 7K is like what we'll get. Yeah. Because out of a crash one, we're not saying it perfectly put together one. So what, 24,000 before our cost? Let's say 8,000. We're not making, we're making maybe 10,000 off maybe, four cars. If that. If that. And I had to pull four engines, four transmissions. So 
you know, and we obviously I'm on my back's obviously putting a lot more wear and tear. Yeah, yeah. And then Jonathan's listening a whole lot more parts. It's a lot more effort. For and that it's taking more of our packaging. Long story short, we're just kind of giving you tips for business advice and stuff like that. If you get a small loan of a million dollars, you'd be set for life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shout out to Trump, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, I wish my dad had a million dollars to give to us. I swear, I, I will be doing so well right now because I know how to invest that million. I just need the million. Yeah, this car, honestly, guys, is looking really good. I mean, yeah, there's nothing really too crazy. If you guys see in our last couple of videos, we just kind of talked to you about what things are kind of surprising and what things are not really surprising. Honestly, nothing really on this car was too surprising considering the price tag. Yeah, they all should be worth a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah, like we're expecting things to be worth a lot. Um, something, I guess, was not worth as much as the we bumpers, thought. Bro. The bumpers, The rear bro. bumper is worth like nothing. The rear bumper was perfect. And it's worth like what? Three four hundred? Four fifty maybe? Four twenty five. Realistically, if someone came over here, it's like, hey bro, we'll give you three fifty or three twenty five, I'll probably take it. Yeah. Because unfortunately, apparently you said it's like M Sport bumper. It's like the, they're the same as like M Sport. It's just so I'm assuming bizarre. the diffuser is different, right? That's it? Yeah. I hope so. I don't think so. <laughs> So the rear end, even the trunk, the rear end, you, you honestly can mistake it. The quarter panels are the same. Quarter panels, everything. So you're mistaking it with like an M550, yeah. which is kind of crazy. And the front end, the bumper, ours had unfortunately two uh, bad unfortunately tabs. Unfortunately had like ripped off tabs. But I mean, it was worth what, 200 bucks? Not much. I don't know where it is. It was worth 270. And yeah. I don't even know if we'll get that, to be honest. We might even have to take like 150 for that bumper. So yeah. um, there's just some unfortunate things. Uh, you know, the bumpers, I can't believe it, bro. I genuinely yeah. could not believe it. The, the thing is, for 2021, they're different. Uh, they're a little bit, they're a lot more pricey. But for the 18s to 20s, they're not that expensive. It's quite yeah. unfortunate. But. I don't know why they used the uh, recycled a bunch of parts. They literally did. Yeah, because look, look, look at like Tesla right they, now. <laughs> well, I mean, one good thing is that like it, it had brown interior, and those interior parts are worth quite a bit. Like the door panels are worth a lot. Everything's worth a lot. We already sold all the tail lights, pretty much. But like oh, the yeah, interior, we did, didn't we? Interior oh yeah. Were worth By the way, guys, this is not even including the things we've sold throughout the weeks that we've been honestly listing we things, sold, right? Like, fifteen items. Yeah. So for all the stuff that we've sold, we've gotten sixteen hundred dollars, roughly, after Take home. fees, shipping, all that stuff, which yeah. is pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean, Lots considering. So just to kind of show you, tell you guys something kind of funny. Should we talk about the engine situation? How we just wholesaled a bunch of our engines? Oh yeah. So, yeah. So this um, is why we need to stick to these cars. By yeah. The way. So just by the way, uh, a control arm we just sold for 165 bucks. This is one of the cheaper control arms on this car. Mm -hmm. This some for like 350, 400 bucks. Uh, we just sold four engines. We wholesale them because uh, they just want to sell. They've been here for months, <laughs> months, and they take up so much space. And I'd rather honestly put the M engines there. Just look better. It's better having our inventory when we sell one. It's actually worth celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> we had so many N52s that were worth like two to three hundred dollars a piece. Yeah, Perfectly cool. running and driving engines. So we just wholesaled a bunch of engines, uh, honestly, like for two, 300 bucks a pop. And shipping would probably be like $600 if somebody wanted it shipped. And after fees, it probably, because the fees would eat into the shipping costs and to the price of the, the item. So probably wants to take home like 100 bucks on those engines, this is 150 so bucks. This is so and the gross. headache, imagine having a return and stuff like that, then we're negative. It's just not even worth those engines. So well, we kind of, because again, when we say two, $300, we try to have our prices as competitive as possible. We want things to move. And even at that cheap, because because we have it so cheap, people are like, what's wrong with it? Yeah. So we you just never could win selling those engines. So we just ended up wholesaling all the engines. Even the X5 engine we had, we wholesaled it. We just wholesaled a bunch of exit, uh, engines. Anyways, got all that gone. Long story short, I think all those engines equated to what we just recently sold right here. Yeah, really. It, it, like, it, just about. If not, if not less. <laughs> <laughs> so we made less on the engines than four, four to five engines than all this right here. These are just small little pieces. Anyways, so just kind of, you know, giving you guys a little bit of tips. You get a small loan of a million dollars and you can utilize. Really help you, you know? can really help you. You can utilize your time a whole lot better. Anyways, so there's going to be some Porsche content coming here pretty soon. That's going to be, I think, hopefully the next video. I think you get, I think we're going to try to upload a Porsche video before this video. Yeah. And we're going to try to upload a Porsche video after this video. Trying to get parts for the Porsche guys has been absolutely ridiculous. Um, I've been ordering things. That's one thing. Very expensive. Yeah. Um, we should probably get a Porsche. Uh, <laughs> that's that. Um, we just Porsche. can't afford it. Again, I love the car so far. I haven't really got to drive and enjoy it just yet. But all I'm saying is that it's been a mission trying to get these parts together. And hopefully, we'll get you guys a video here pretty soon. But without further ado, we're going to call it because my, my head's about to explode, bro. Yeah, it feels bad, bad bro. <laughs> He's going to edit this right now. So we're going to give him some grace. <laughs> we need an outro, yeah. bro. We need a proper outro. Definitely. Anyway, guys, we'll just catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>